Did I hear that right, Ethan? Did, did you just say that you wanted to talk to me about coming back to work at Crane Industries? You heard correctly. I'm shocked. I mean, I am. Because you were really adamant before you said you didn't want anything to do with me ever again. I know, Teresa, will you just hear me out for a minute, okay? Okay, yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm dying to hear this. I received a late night visit from an FBI agent. You're kidding. No, they want me to come back to work at Crane Industries because they want me to help them with an investigation that they've launched into some of Alistair's illegal activities. Hmm. Well, God knows that uh, Alistair had his finger in a lot of dirty dealings, but why would they approach you to help them? You didn't send them to me? This wasn't your idea at all. I'll meet with Mr. Winthrop right away. And when you do meet with Ethan, um, Agent Morrison, don't mention that I suggested the FBI make him its appointment at Crane. Very well, Mrs. Crane. I'll leave your name out of it. <laughs> of course not. Are you kidding, Ethan? I have no idea that they were involving you. But you knew that they were pursuing a case against Alistair, right? Well, yeah, of, of course. I mean, yeah, they came to me. They wanted my permission to uh, have access to go through all of, you know, Alistair's files and his computers and stuff like that, you know. But no, I honestly, I had no idea that they were going to, you know, come to you for help. <laughs> I crossed my heart, Ethan. Well, it's not as if I was shocked when the FBI came to see me. I mean, everyone knows that Alistair had his hand in all sorts of nefarious activities. No, that didn't exactly come as a shock. Well, did they, you know, tell you specifically what they were looking for? Because they were, they were vague with me. I got the feeling that it's a pretty big deal. As a matter of fact, I think they consider Alistair, your husband, to be a uh, threat to national security. I always knew that uh, Alistair was an evil bastard. I guess I just didn't know how evil. Anyway, I told the FBI that I would help them any way that I can. And thank God you said yes, because if anyone can get to the bottom of Alistair's illegal activities, it's Teresa, you. Teresa, that's why I came over here tonight. I wanted you to hear this from me and not the FBI. I'm turning them down. I am not going to come to work for you. You can't say no, Ethan. You've got to say yes. Okay, this is the FBI we're talking about, okay? They need your help to solve a crime. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. Not that it isn't flattering to think I'm some kind of vital element in this whole thing, but I'm not. Because even when Alistair thought I was his grandson, he never confided in me. He never trusted me with any sensitive information like bank account codes or computer codes or anything like that. Ethan, you're being way too modest, okay? You're minimizing what your role could be in this. All right, you were Julian and Alistair's right hand. You were their confidant for a while. A very short while. Yeah, still, you learned so many things. Ethan, you're a brilliant legal mind. I mean, surely you can help them find what they're looking for. Teresa, why do you care so much about this? What difference does it make whether I help the FBI or not? They're a government agency. You know what? They're going to make you take this job. It's like how they subpoena people to court, you know, when they don't want to testify. No, they can't do that. Even in these times, an innocent person still has the right to privacy and the right to decide how he or she wants to live their own life, and no one can coerce me into doing anything I don't want to do. Teresa, look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cooperate with the FBI as much as I can, but where I draw the line is coming back to work at Crane Industries. Won't do it. It's not going to look good if you refuse. They're going to jump to the wrong conclusion. You know, they're, they're going to assume that you are somehow involved with Alistair's illegal dealings. Then, Ethan, they could arrest you. They no. could throw you in Teresa, prison. Teresa, they won't do that, okay? And by the way, that's a risk I'm willing to take. Well, I think you're making a huge mistake. I don't think so. And in spite of your protests, Teresa, I do know you pretty well. And even if you didn't have anything to do with the FBI approaching me, I know that you would use my proximity to you to try to come between Gwen and me, and I won't have that. Wow. I just can't believe how 
little you think of me. Teresa, whatever I think is based upon past experience. Let me make something very clear, and hopefully it's the last time. I value my marriage, I love my wife, and I will not do anything to put that at risk. And nobody, and nothing, including the FBI, is going to make me waver on that. Do you understand me? I certainly do. I just don't know how else to get through to her. My marriage has to come before anything else. Even my own feelings. Yeah. Honey, I'm home. <laughs>